So let us continue having fun with the uh, automation on Jira Cloud. Now, in today's example, I want to basically show you how we can also manipulate and uh, do some great things with date fields. So let us say when you create a new issue, let us say you are creating a, creating a task or it could be a bug, for example, let us create a bug. Um, so let us say this is uh, not working. It is a bug. And if you look at the the fields, we do have fields like, uh, do we have a due date? I want to basically set the due date uh, of this particular bug automatically. That is my that is my um, um, goal. So let me find the other issue type if I go to task. And if I take a look at uh, the due date, so I don't really find the due date, let us uh, first make sure that when we are creating a bug in, uh, in a project, we do have a due date field. So I'll go to the screens and, uh, and I will uh, find the bug screens screen scheme. So when you open the uh, screen here, you can uh, maybe add the field, it could be due date, it could be any other any field basically that you have. So I do have a due date field, I will probably move it somewhere uh, on top. And then I will go back to my issue to create a new bug. So let us create a new bug. Where is my field? I don't really see my field here. So anyways, this is my due date. And uh, I will uh, simply create this issue first. And I will go to my issue. I'm using the same uh, screen for both edit and create, I think so. But if I click on the edit, and if I take a look at my, my due date, there is no due date here. Where is my field? Come on. Uh, so I don't see my due date here. I can see, okay, for some strange, weird reason, I don't really see my due date. Let me just uh, take a look at the screen again. What can be the reason? I have no idea. Or maybe I'm missing something. So let me take a look at the field configuration here. My due date is uh, definitely, uh, I mean, I, I was thinking maybe it was hidden. It is not hidden. Let me take a look at the screens one more time. I'm sure I was looking at the, I'm sure that the field is there in the, in the screen. So we do have a due date. Why, why it is not miss, why it is not there. Is it a different field? Due date. How, how come I, I have two due dates in uh, my project? No idea. L let us not worry about it too much right now. So what I want is I want to create a new issue. Now I see the due date. Come on. Okay. So this is my bug. And uh, I can set the due date here right now, but I want to set it automatically based on the created date. So let us say if I create the issue. I can take a look at the issue first. I can see here that uh, the issue was created today. But let us say you are uh, trying to set the due date automatically. So you can always uh, create an automation rule. So let us go to the project settings and uh, not people, automation. And uh, if we try to create a new automation rule, what I want to do now, I will uh, use the same example, basically to, sh to show you how it can be done. Of course, we can either use uh, this for uh, the issue created event, but I want to basically do it manually. So I don't have to create the issue all the time. So let us say you are doing it uh, when you click on the on hold button. So when you move the issue to on hold, you want to basically do something and that is editing the issue. And when you edit the issue, you may want to set the due date. So here I just see one field. Anyways, strange. So I, 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 I'll say there is probably a bug <laughs> uh, or something wrong with the instance. So now we are trying to set the due date. And, and if you can 
see here you already have some some uh, recommendation like you can set it to now plus business days five so basically it will add five business days to your uh, current uh, date that is let us say created date so let us first fetch the uh, created date so you can do that using issue dot created so if i'm of course taking a look at the uh, documentation so let us do issue dot created and uh, now you can do a lot of other things a lot of wonderful things you can uh, basically add uh, something like uh, plus plus days so you can basically use this uh, plus days method i believe to add 14 days or whatever number of days or you can also do can i can i do add business business days so what what i what i was thinking is uh, i want to basically add uh, 10 days or 7 days but only the business days not really uh, or working days do we have something like working days working no so let me just take a look at the example again so we have now plus business days okay so i need to use uh, dot plus business days okay fine i got it so plus business days i hope it works let us add uh, seven so if we add seven it will probably add so today is what what is today I, I don't know the date today it's a bit difficult to keep track of time and date these days anyway so today is 9th of december so if you add seven straight away it will be 16 but if you also make sure you don't really want uh, weekends then it should be i guess 18 i guess uh, so let us uh, first of all i want to make sure that this is a valid method to add business days because i don't really see it here no not in this particular uh, um not on this particular page i'll go to the other link okay yep yep i can see that so calculating business days okay so there is a link there is an, there is another link to do that so let us add this rule so add days or set due date automatically so we are setting due date automatically and uh, we can then hope that it works so let's let us see let us play with the with the issue this time i'll give it a nice bug nice summary like something is not working probably better than those fix it ah, come on soon so i'll not set the due date and today is 9th of december let us see let us see if uh, this works or not i don't see anything yet there is no due date added there is no due date updated so let me just uh, wait for it usually when you're working with automation rules it takes i think uh, you, know, you know some time to update things and by the way i'm not really sure whether uh, that plus thing will work uh, when you're maybe i need to use the json part I, i'm not really sure but it didn't work so basically it says uh, add six days to today or maybe it just works with uh, now now is of course uh, the date which is right now i think instead of using uh, created we can use now because uh, it's the same thing i guess and uh, i'll probably change it to now and it didn't work so let me first also take a look at the audit log i was just trying to be extra creative by using the methods i thought it will work with the created date as well but i think you need to um read the documentation to understand why and what exactly will what exactly will work or not work for some reason the rule didn't even come on my fault i I know why it didn't work because uh, the the rule is uh, the rule is uh, is is basically set to do some addition based on the transition, not on the creation. 
So my bad. So I'll, I'll trigger this and I think it should work because it makes sense. Let us see, let us see. We, we can never be sure un, unless we try it. So we clicked on the on hold and uh, I hope Sometimes when you when you're using some, some you know you know when when, you, when the issue is updated sometimes you get a pop up like you know this issue was updated and it worked it worked wonderfully well and uh, you can see here that uh, we have due date which is 18th and it makes sense because uh, I want to skip my weekends I don't really want to work on weekends nobody wants to work on weekends it will be a bit sad if you have to work on weekends I mean sometimes you have to but not not like regularly. Okay, so I think this this looks good, and uh, and uh, this worked. So we will continue exploring these wonderful things that you can do with automation. Of course, automation is part of Atlassian, um, your Jira instance. So it makes sense that you use it, but of course there is a limit. So be extra careful and uh, keep an eye on the number of uh, executions. You can always go to the log and uh, the usage of your uh, rules. It works on the free version of Jira. I'm using the free version of Jira, but uh, if you're paying for it, then of course uh, the limit is different. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you learned something new today and you also enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.